almost, which means that in addition to debating the merits of brining turkeys and getting ready to seek out department store bargains the way that zombies seek out human brains, people are getting ready to do a little volunteering. Tis the season to get into a soup kitchen and ladle out the milk of human kindness, or something like that. I've got my ladle, so let's go in and see what that's like. Well, that didn't really work. Uh, by the time I got there, the kitchen was already full of volunteers. So now I'm at the North Presbyterian Church on West 155th Street, hoping for some better luck, maybe minus the hat. Maybe with this hat. Okay, I've got my ladle, here I go. Okay, how can I be of use? You can, right now. I'm uh, handy in the kitchen, I really am. Okay, you, you can walk with her when she, when she walks the trail. Yeah? Check this out. Where does all this food come from? Uh, we dip into our pockets and we bring the food ourselves. We, we buy. You ladies buy all the food yeah. to serve how many people here? 80, 90. Yeah, some weeks, some weeks about 90. It was really, really wonderful. These people are very lucky to have you. Turns out it's not so easy to just walk into a soup kitchen and volunteer. So I came down to Beaver Street, where I'm here at the New York City Coalition Against Hunger, to try to get the bigger picture about hunger and volunteering in New York. We love it when New Yorkers want to volunteer at soup kitchens and food pantries any time during the year, because it's a great opportunity for them to learn about hunger. But we also want to send the message, number one, the pantries and kitchens need help throughout the year. They're often booked up for Thanksgiving and Christmas months in advance. And two, these pantries and kitchens really need skills-based volunteers. So we encourage people to volunteer at pantries and kitchens. We just ask them, please, 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 don't do it just on Thanksgiving. And please, please, please understand we have skills-based needs that are far more important than just food service. We need people for accounting. They don't have enough people to create websites. They don't have enough people to help with their funding applications using spreadsheets. They don't have enough people to edit their documents. And that's the kind of help they most need from New Yorkers. Well, it turns out that just randomly showing up at a soup kitchen and offering your services may not be the most effective way to make a contribution. I just got an assignment to help put together some grant applications, so that's what I'm going to be doing this week. In the interim, I'm just going to offer my services wherever I see the need arise. Excuse me, do you need directions? Can I help you across the street? Uh, thank you. No? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey, can I help you with the, uh, want an umbrella? <laughs> okay. Okay. Where are you going? Uh, we're just looking for a bar. A bar? You're in the right town! Yeah.